guys, this is the epic ninja video game. And today, um, <clears throat> here we have the Lego Technic Snowmobile. It comes with 186 pieces, and it is pretty cool. It has uh, two, three features, uh, like two features, but you know. Um, yeah, so let's get right into this. So, first of all, here is the regular main build. This is the snowmobile. As you can see, it can go up and down. And here's it from the side. And this right here, if I can bring it up close to your camera, this is about the actual size of that piece. So that is about the actual size if you were to put it on your screen, I think. <laughs> well, on my iPod. But anyway, on the back here is the alternate build. If you would like me to build that, please put that in the comments, and I will do so. Um, it has just a couple features. It has one, two, three features. Um, and yeah, it's pretty cool. So now let's just get on to the thing that you guys wanted. The actual snowmobile. So first of all, I really like the use of these stickers. Like on here, I love how they were able to put these stickers on to represent the small little seating. Like the seating right there. I really like that. Um, right here, the nice design right up here on the front. And uh, yeah, that is basically what is there. This wheel will not always turn with gap. Like it will because it will only turn and we'll always have this wheel right here on the bottom. And the screen thing will always be at an angle. Alright, anyway. Um, this will roll on any surface, unlike the other LEGO Technic set, the bulldozer. These wheels right here can roll on any surface. Um, so yeah, and then the next feature um, is not, like, it is right here. So, first of all, you have these small little headlights, and right here, for the next feature, you can push down. And that is why you have this three-piece. One is connecting to this small little black thing, and the other two are connecting right here, and then the hole is, like, connecting right here. Um, and the reason why you need that is so that Right here, this connects to here, so you can push this down, which right here will just be able to push this down right here. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, you can lift it up like this, and that does look kind of cool. Oops, but it can fall over. I also like how the bottom of it is uh, pretty flat. Um, I think I've covered almost everything, except for the main feature. So you want to drive this, right? How are you going to drive it? Well, see this handlebar? Just turn it. It'll turn these skis. Very simple. If you want to see how that works, right in there, I'm going to zoom in. Right there, you can see this that is able to turn. Which is connected to one of those pieces with the axles on the with the axle holes on the end and it has those two little ball joints which is connecting to this thing right here which is connecting to this which is like turning this right here right which is connected to this which is turning the ski and it does it on both sides as they were pushing it both to one side And then it can always still bounce. So, yeah, I, I have just covered everything on this build. Now let me just go to my thoughts. So I really like the way that they designed the ski. Um, I just wish that they had put those in black to match the color scheme. Because it doesn't make too much sense for it to be in red. So I wish all those small axles were in red. Um, it would be cool if they could, um, make a black one of these pieces. I bet they already did, but if they did, they should use that. 
Um, most of these dots about this are just on the color. Um, other than that, I'd say the build of this is amazing. Very supportive. I am going to drop this one up here. And absolutely nothing fell off. So very strong, very strong build, um, very detailed, and um, yeah, it is very cool. So that's all I really have to say for you guys on this build. And the last thing I want to say to you guys is I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.